my beloved and welcome back to Fallen Angel. So, this is just a little vlog. We are going to talk about the epidemic that is happening right now. I know everyone else is talking about it, but I decided I want to talk about it. Because I think it's important to talk about this kind of stuff. Especially to let y'all know that I do care about what's going on. Me, myself, I have been taking pure cautions of everything. But let's talk about this coronavirus that they're talking about. Or this whatever they're calling it. They say that it's a new disease. Which they don't know why or how it's being spread. Uh, and the severe of the illness it causes and stuff like that. And with the U.S. and there's a lot of people over here. But they do know that it does spread from person to person. That's why they're saying don't be in crowds, don't go out. And I haven't been out to the grocery store. I haven't been out in public. Nothing. I did go over to my sister's, but that was just that was just a little bit of people. As long as you're not in a big crowd, I think that's fine. But as long as you're taking the pure cautions that they're telling you, like keep your hands clean, wash your hands, always wash your hands. What I've been doing is I've been doing it like every time. I can, you know, when I can, and keeping your house clean, of course, not saying none of y'all don't, which that's a good thing, and everything else, and especially once I have little babies, like me, I have a six-year-old, he has asthma, and he's really, he can catch it more than anything, they say people that are weak illnesses and stuff like that can catch it, which yes, they can, but we can probably catch it too. But as a mother, I try to make sure that he doesn't catch it. So I keep him at the house. I make sure I get his medication in him and everything with him having asthma. And he has a low immune system, which both things freaking sucks as being a mother. I have to worry about my child. So y'all are going to see from a mother's point of view. Because a lot of people are doing this. I don't know how many other... YouTubers are doing this, or how many other people have tweeted about this, or whatever, if they're parents or not, but if they are, that's a good thing, that y'all are getting inside of a parent's point of view. See, my little boy is six. He was diagnosed with asthma a couple years ago, and he's had a low immune system since he was a baby, and he was born with acid reflux and stuff like that. So as a mother, stuff like that scare this scares me, because... Am I, in thoughts in my head, am I cleaning my house enough? Am I making sure he washes his hands enough? And everything else, am I sure I'm washing my hands enough where he's always around me? And everything else. And that's the precaution that I'm scared of. If everything is making sure that he is safe. And making sure he won't get sick with this and everything else until, you know... Everything's done. So, yeah, we're everyone's on freaking quarantine, which sucks because no one can go out and do anything. I live in Kentucky, so we are on in quarantine right now, supposed to be. But a lot of people have to go to work and stuff. Like my fiancé, he has to go to work because he does propane. And he's required to do it from the governor to stay open, like a lot of places are staying open, like the gas station. The grocery stores, off doctor's offices, and stuff like that that are actually good and like with for your pets and stuff and everything else. And you know that's what i have been trying to do is keep my son away from everything. Like all the restaurants have shut down here, and every store has shut. Uh, all the restaurants, fast foods have shut down too. And um. Sorry, I don't know if y'all heard that or not. That was my son's teacher messaging me. And schools are shut down, of course, and everything else. And, like, the fast foods are shut down, but you can go still go through, through the drive-thru and everything else. But this is, like, from my person's point of view and stuff. So, I've been looking up, like, a lot of things. You're seeing my camera shake. Uh, Buggy just got up on the bed. 
Mm-mm. It says how easily it is spread. It's, they say that it's highly contagious and spreading spread easily. Uh... And everything so I've been really looking up where I've been looking stuff up I'm gonna put them down in the description below so y'all will see you know what you know what I've been reading so maybe if y'all want to y'all can you know read it too and stuff and thing and then making sure that everyone is safe I want all my beloveds to be safe I want y'all to please take all the cautions that y'all have to to make sure that y'all are all taken care of and nobody gets sick and everything and checking on your family members like I don't live with my mom my mom doesn't live with me hopefully soon she will be but and she has a low immune system which scares me as a daughter too Cause you gotta worry about your parents along with your children and my mom's my whole world she's the only parent I got and like hold on he had it he has his tablet so he's like right here hi but like I said like mothers and parents and stuff these is what we have to worry about with this coronavirus going around and with him being immune system and he does get sick a lot which scares me that's why i quarantine his little butt he hardly goes out i maybe let him outside every now and again but since this happened i haven't let him go out but i do share custody with his daddy so he does go over to his dad's and me and him both have worked together to keep him safe because he doesn't have this all but, I think that's enough rambling about this thing. But, I really, really hope y'all all stay safe. I pray all y'all stay safe. I hope to God, and I pray to God that this thing goes away so we can all return back to our normal lives. But, I really hope all y'all stay safe. Please stay safe. I wouldn't let want anything bad happening to anybody. It's, this is a horrible thing. It is got everything on uproar and everything but please stay safe wash your hands keep clean keep your house clean keep you know away from large crowds of people and if you need to go to the store please take precautions of that you know wipe the buggies down wipe anything down that you touch before you touch it wash your hands after you touch it use the hand sanitizer as much as you can uh, I've actually made my own hand sanitizer and it's really easy to do if you get like alcohol and I think it's alcohol uh, or like that gel stuff and everything else you can make your own hand sanitizer just look it up I'll look on I'll look up what I used and I'll put it down in the description below for y'all that can't and like please just I know I keep saying this, but stay safe. Stay calm. And if you ever need anyone to talk to, all my stuff is always down in the description below. You can comment to me, and I'll comment right back. But, hopefully y'all listened and heard what I had to say. And if you're new to this channel, come soar with me through all my little adventures. Earn them wings. Hopefully I'll see more little beloved earning their wings soon to all the 57 of you love these with your angel wings i love y'all and thank y'all for supporting me keep the support with everybody support each other through this hard time and i will be a support for y'all but i will see y'all later today or i'm going to post a new tiktok video today so hopefully Y'all watch that. I hope y'all watch this. Go over there. <laughs> but this ain't no clickbait. This is actually serious. But please just. <laughs> I don't like repeating myself.
but hopefully y'all stay safe out there and y'all come to the channel and become part of my beloveds and hopefully i'll see y'all next time so much love my beloveds bye guys